Hey everyone, welcome to Pink Tutu Tarot. So this reading, we're taking a look at someone in your life and how they feel about you, what they think about you, and you get to choose who this person is. It can be any kind of relationship. It can be a boss, a coworker, it can be a friend, it can be a family member, a romantic partner, a neighbor, whoever you are thinking about, whoever you are concerned about or, or just curious about. Uh, set the intention to you know find out how they feel about you, what they think of you, and um, and we'll go from there. So I've got three readings for you, three cards, one from each reading. Group one, you have the Prince of Cups. Hopefully you can see that card. Hold it down a little bit so nobody gets it. Prince of Cups. Group two, you have the Strength card. And group three, you have the Fool. All right, let's go ahead and pick your card. You can pick it based on the image, by uh, you know what card it is. You can just go with your gut feeling on the group. Um, go down into the description box. You can click on the timestamp for that group, and it'll take you straight to your reading. And uh, I'll see you there. All right, thanks, y'all. Hey, group one. All right, so we're going to take a look at what this person thinks about you right now. And this is, can be anybody, whoever you want to know about most. We'll find out. We'll see what, um, see what comes up. Now, if, if this reading doesn't resonate, obviously you picked this one. I would say if you felt the pull towards this one, I would listen to it because there may be messages here you need to hear. It may not be the exact person you're thinking of. Um, but you can look at the other readings as well course because you may find the answers you're looking for there so trust your instincts there all right let's connect with the cards and we'll take a look at what this person thinks of you well this can be anybody it can be somebody in your workplace it can be a friend family member a romantic partner um, an acquaintance just have that person in mind as I shuffle the cards here First card is the Five of Cups. Then we have the Ace of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Tower. I'm going to get another row here, so hang on. Just straighten these a little bit. Okay. All right, we have the Fool. And the Six of Swords. Okay. We have the Eight of Swords. And lastly, we have the Prince of Cups. All right. Okay, give me just a sec. I just want to take these cards in, and I'm going to listen for some initial messages for you from Spirit. And then we'll talk through these and um, see what these cards have to say to you. So hold on one second, y'all. But the first thing they're telling me is that this person sees you as someone who has helped them. You've helped them in some way. And it feels like they have acknowledged this to you. Um, but if they haven't, know that they do feel that you have helped them in some way. 
help them through a difficult time, through a difficult journey, um, through a difficult situation. You, in some way, you've kind of helped them evolve a little bit. Um, you've helped them to see things in a little bit different way. And they, what I'm getting is they do feel strongly that they are a better person for having met you. So we have that. Okay. Well, let's start with the card. So your first card, we have the Five of Cups, which is disappointment, and that's paired with the Fool. Um, let's start with the Five of Cups and see. Yeah, again, they're, t they're talking about you having helped them. They were, um, they were in a disappointing time. Um, now, if this is a work person, there's something, you know, about work that wasn't going well. It, there's a disappointment here. There's a challenge they were facing. Um, it could be personal. Again, it could be if it's in a work kind of situation, it's obviously more on a professional level. Or it could possibly be that you help them personally as well. But they, they're, yeah, they're, they're giving me challenges personally and or professionally. Um, where this person was focused more on what was not going well um, than what was. And you came in um, and in some way changed that for them, helped them see things differently. Um, they're saying this, this person feels like you helped them look past the disappointment and to get a better perspective of things. Um, what else? They're saying um, they see they see you as a reflection of themselves in some way, which is an interesting thing to say. Let me just listen and see what they get a little more information on that. Yeah, they're saying that um, this person feels um, a little bit like they can see themselves in your eyes. In other words, especially if this is a professional situation, they do see a bit of themselves in you. But even in a personal or romantic situation or family, they're, they're drawn to you because there's something in you that feels familiar, um, that feels comfortable, that they recognize in themselves. So you remind them a lot of themselves in some way, in some way. Um, but they're really, they're, I'm getting this feeling of gratitude because you help them kind of snap out of it. Um, and they do put, like, I'm saying the word blame, but they do blame all of that on you. And that's in a positive way. Um, you know, not blame in a negative way, but it's like they can't even take credit for it because something you said or did changed the way they saw a situation or reacted or responded to a situation that they were in. Then we have the fool. They see you as someone who is very carefree, um, that you're not judgmental. I just heard that, that you're non-judgmental. You're a bit of a free spirit, um, and they like that about you. They recognize in you some kind of an affinity for nature, and... And th this person responds to that as well. It's like they, they see you in your element. You know, even if it's work, they see you going outside and looking up at the birds or the sunshine or whatever it may be. And they respond to that. There's something about your affinity for nature that, um, that makes them smile, that makes them feel good. They do feel like sometimes you're a little bit careless. Um, but they don't feel like it's a negative thing. It's, it's more of a, I guess careless is not the right word. Hold on. It's more free spirit. It's more free spirit. Uh, they, they see you as someone who has a joyful energy, a positive outlook, which is why you were able to help kind of pull them out of whatever funk they were in or whatever situation was dragging them down. Hmm. Interesting. They like this free-spiritedness about you, but I'm getting that they aren't quite like that. They would like to be more um, 
carefree is the right word, more carefree, like you, but, the, but that's not quite who they are. Um, but they do recognize it in you, and they, they really like that about you. All right, so then we have the Ace of Cups. Hold on. All right, what I'm getting is that this person feels like sometimes um, it, it, this has to do with emotions. And I, let me just make sure I'm getting the message right. So bear with me, y'all. Yeah, they're showing me, now this deck I read um, upright only, but they're showing me this cup in reverse and they're showing it like drained and shaking the drops of water out. Uh, Saying they feel like you can be a little bit harsh sometimes. It's like a, the emotional side of you, they feel, now you can take this or leave this, right? Because it's just one person's perspective. They feel that sometimes you can be a little harsh, um, maybe even a little cold, a little emotionless. Uh, what I'm feeling is that you actually do have some strong emotions. You just don't show them uh, quite as readily as maybe they do or as maybe other people do, or you just, you don't show them that, that much openly. Uh, but, but it's, and especially this would be especially for family or romantic, but it's like, there's this, um, almost like a, like they wish you were a little bit more affectionate. Um, you know, in a professional situation, it would be, uh, a little more familiar, a little more open, a little more open. They do feel that you're, you don't show your emotions very well to them. They, they, they would like to see more. Uh, I guess. So then we have the Six of Swords, and there is a feeling here. They believe uh, that there's a part of you that wants to leave in some way or doesn't want to be there, doesn't want to stay, may not stay. So take that as it resonates, depending on the situation and the, or the relationship you're in. But they are looking at you, and they're not seeing... They're not getting the, the warm hug, you know, not to say you're not warm with them. How do I put this? Because it's not coming out of my mouth the way they're giving it to me. Hold on one second. It, it's this feeling of they're not 100% sure that you are committed. And that, you know, that makes a lot of sense, obviously, in a relationship. But, but you can have commitment also in other relationships as well. It's like they're not sure that you are happy. Yeah, there we go. They're not sure you're happy. Your cup is empty. You're not showing, um, you're not giving them evidence of wanting to be there, you know, on an emotional level. And they get this sense of you kind of having one foot out the door. Interesting. All right. Next, we have the Four of Pentacles. And the top of the card, it says power. Uh, okay. So <laughs> they would like you to be more static, more static. And, you know, being a free spirit, maybe you move around a lot. Maybe you come and go a lot. Um, take that as it resonates obviously that won't be for all of you but even emotionally they would like you to be more static to be with them more if it's in the workplace they want to feel more secure in um, your journey you know that you're not going anywhere they would like to see you feel more power within yourself feel more empowered it's like they recognize in you that there are some times when you don't there's there are times when you're feeling insecure or you don't give yourself enough credit 
and you talk down about yourself or you doubt yourself, they would like to see you embrace your own power a little bit more and to be stronger in that. But also there is this sense of wanting you to be around more. Yeah. In, in some way, <clears throat> to either to be more present when you're there or to literally, you know, physically be around more. All right. Then we have the Eight of Swords. And the top, at the top of the card, it says interference. Um, oh, one sec. They really want to know more about what's going on in your head. I, I, I'm getting the sense here from as we're going through the cards that um, they, they really don't know where they stand with you. And this goes for any kind of relationship. They don't know where they stand. They don't know where you stand. They're feeling a little bit, um, uh, just a little bit lost in that they don't, um, they're not getting the answers from you in some way. And they would really like to, to see the gates open and just, they would, they wish you could be a little bit more open with them and tell them, you know, what, what bothers you, what you like, what makes you happy, what you want. Um, you know, if it's a, a romantic situation, you know, talk about what makes you happy, where you want the relationship to go, um, what challenges you're having. If it's work, obviously, you know, what do you love about your job? What do you not love? What do you need? What do you, um, what do you wish was a part of the, you know, your, your work journey? They're, they're feeling, they're feeling very, um, closed out of your, your mental process, right? Like you're not speaking, you're not speaking. That's how they feel. All right. So overall, we have here the tower card and the prince of cups with the tower card. They really feel like you've changed their life in some way. And even if it's a professional relationship, if it's a boss or coworker, You've done something that changed how they see things and how they do things, um, how they perceive things. You really kind of um, helped them do a 180 in some way, either in their life in general or in a specific situation. They see you as being the catalyst, almost like the lightning that topples the tower and, you know, burns it to the ground so that it can build up in a more solid, better way. You are the catalyst. You are that strike of lightning that really changed how they see something in their life or in their, in the work or in the situation. And then we have the Prince of Cups. So overall, they feel very positive about you. You're someone who has changed them and their life in some way. And you're someone who they want to spend more time with. They want to see you be around more. They want, you know, they really just want more from you. You, you are a positive influence on them. And um, they have, I'm getting that they have a lot of emotion for you. And that's even in a professional place. It's like they have affection for you. And they think of you in positive loving terms. Now you got to take the word loving and, and put it into perspective based on what kind of relationship, but um, they want you around and they, they want more of you in general. It's like uh, they, they worry that someday you're going to leave and that things won't be the same if you do. All right. Well, group one, I hope that helps you understand how this person thinks about you, feels about you right now. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give the video a thumbs up. It just helps me know that our energies are connecting and um, it also helps the YouTube channel get out there so that more people like you can find readings that will help them, which is also um, a wonderful thing. And 
drop a comment if you want to tell me a little bit about this relationship. I'd love to read your comments, and I thank you so much for being here. All right, have a great day, y'all. Bye-bye. Hi, group two. All right, we're going to take a look at how this person, and you get to decide who it is, how this person feels about you, what they think about you. Um, and this can be any any relationship. It can be a boss, a coworker, a family member, a friend, a romantic partner. You you know keep someone in mind, especially as I shuffle, and um, take the messages as they resonate for you. Okay. Let me just connect with the cards, and then we'll jump in and get started. Your first card is the universe. And we have the three of swords. Next we have the six of wands. And then we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, do one more row here. All right, we have Strength and the Empress. We have the moon, and finally we have the emperor. All right. Okay, give me just a second. I just want to take these cards in. I'm going to listen for some initial messages for you from Spirit, and then we'll, we'll talk about what's going on here, okay? So give me one second here. All right, well, the message I got, um, now this will only... This will only resonate with some of you because of the relationship that it um, implies. But what they first said is that this person loves you very much. Now this, um, this could be for a romantic person, it could be a family member, obviously a work relationship, maybe not love, but let me just touch back in and see what they wanna say about that, hold on. Well, okay, what they're giving me is, as far as work, they're still giving me the word love, but it's a different um, different connotation to it. In other words, your boss loves you, that, that sort of thing, or your coworkers love you. Different, different kind of love, but they're still giving me that this person loves you, loves you. So that's a, that's a, good, that's a good start. Let's see if they have any other messages here. They're telling me that this person is a little bit conflicted uh, when it comes to you. You understand why? They're telling me that their feelings are getting, sometimes get in the way of what they think is rational behavior or, um, or, or thinking clearly. And again, I know that sounds romantic, but if you think of it, if your person that you're imagining is a work person, for example, your boss maybe really, really likes you, really loves you. They may be feeling conflicted about something because of how much they do like you or um, 
you know, they may be worried that they're doing, you know, showing some favoritism, that kind of thing. So just kind of take it as it resonates based on the relationship you are looking at. Okay. All right. So let's jump into the cards. So the first card is the universe, which is um, essentially the world card in a typical tarot deck. Uh, and what they're giving me exactly is that they think the world of you. They do think the world of you. They think you're magnificent. Um, whether this, again, is a work, you know, a family relationship, a friend. They Actually, what they're giving me is that they kind of idolize you. They look at you and they step back and they think, wow, this person has it all. They know what they're doing. They know what they like and don't like. They know what they want. They know how to handle themselves. They really admire you. They really, really do admire you. And paired up with the strength card, it kind of doubles down on that. They are, they are wowed by the strength that you have. Now, whether that's strength in personal situations, you know, situations you've overcome, whether it's strength in the workplace, whether it's just an inner strength to overcome obstacles, they see you at your best and they are in awe of that. That's what I'm getting. They're in absolute awe of your ability to overcome whatever situation is thrown at you. Maybe not immediately, right? Maybe it's, you know, you stumble and wobble just like anyone, but they see you as someone who always gets back up always, always, always gets back up. Um, and even if initially you don't have a positive outlook, you always come back um, to full strength with a positive outlook, with a positive um, attitude. And they really admire that about you. They do. Okay, so next we have the Three of Swords. And at the top of the card, it says sorrow. Just get a taste of this one. Hold on. Okay. They're telling me, okay. They're talking about um, sometimes you, you say things that, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to say it. I, hopefully this doesn't uh, hurt anyone's feelings because it's not coming from me. Sometimes you say things that hurt other people's feelings and you don't realize it. Uh, you're, you're very much um, a thought to mouth person, you, uh, you speak your mind, you speak your mind, you, you have, a, an affinity for the truth over sugarcoating. So hopefully that makes sense to you. At least this is how this person sees you. They admire you. They think you're fantastic. So take this, you know, as it's meant, this is just what they see. They recognize in you that you are powerful, you're strong, you're optimistic, you're a go-getter, um, but you're also uh, quick to speak your mind and possibly not aware how sometimes that may make others feel. <laughs> so keep that in mind, take it or leave it. You know, what, what someone else thinks of us isn't always how we think of ourselves. So just take that as you, as you want to. And then we have the Empress. One second. They're talking about your ability to, it's like you believe in others and you have all this, they see all these wonderful qualities in you, but they're saying that you don't always believe in yourself. That, um, you're very good at talking others up. So yes, sometimes you say things that people like maybe jolt them a little bit, but you're also very good at talking people up of um, getting them to see the best in themselves and to see how abundant and um, fruitful they are and all the opportunities that lie ahead of them. But sometimes you do the opposite to yourself. And they notice this about you that sometimes you don't give yourself enough credit for who you are. You don't talk to yourself the same way that you talk to others um, when you're trying to lift them up. I'm trying to see if there's anything else they wanted to say. 
it's like what they're giving me is that you don't know your own power, your own um, beauty, your own fantasticness, right? They see it in you. You don't see it in yourself. And um, you don't trust yourself as much as you should. And you don't give yourself enough credit. <clears throat> and I apologize for my voice, y'all. I'm getting over a really nasty cold. So my voice is a little off and I may be clearing my throat. So forgive me. Um, but again, um, you speak your mind to others, sometimes inadvertently. But you're also fairly harsh to yourself. And you don't give yourself enough credit for how amazing you are. It's like you don't see it. You don't see it. And, and this person wonders why, why you don't see what they see. It's interesting. All right, so next we have the Six of Wands. And this person really wishes that you would, number one, go for the gold. If there's anything holding you back, it's yourself. And they see in you this incredible power, this incredible determination, this incredible skill, talent, love, all of these things. But you're not always honest about that with yourself. And they want you to own your power and own your success and, and brag not about yourself to others, although it you know wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, but brag about yourself to yourself. They want you to recognize your own victory, which is what it says at the top of the card. Recognize your own achievements all the progress you've made, all the, the steps you've taken to improve yourself or improve your work or improve your relationships, and what a great job you've done on yourself and in helping others. And they want you to own that a little bit. All right. So then we have the moon. Let me just see what they're saying. Hold on. Again, it, it's coming down to they wish that you would believe in yourself more. It's, it's, they, want you to, they wish you had more clarity, that you could see yourself more clearly as they see you. You know, the moon card, it's in the dark. You're only getting a, ref, you know, a reflection of the sun instead of the full brightness of the sun. And that reflection, as beautiful as it is, it's not as powerful and not as life-giving as this actual sun is. And they feel like that's how you see yourself. You see yourself in um, in a reflection kind of status rather than in your full full power and your full beauty and your your full dynamism, right? They wish that you could see yourself with the full clarity that they see you, and to to again really own it, celebrate it, because when you are positive and you're loving yourself and you're optimistic and you're full of life it's like you're unstoppable and they know this about you they don't they don't necessarily see that you know that yeah all right so then we have the seven of cups and this kind of represents overall how they feel about you they feel like you have an endless number of options in front of you that there's nothing you could want that you couldn't accomplish. There's nothing you couldn't do. In a romantic relationship, what they're giving me is that they also know that you have options there as well. They're, they're aware of the fact, whether you are or not, or they believe that you could have anyone. And that may intimidate them a little, a little. Um, but mostly, it actually makes them feel very proud. You know, if, if your person is a, is a, a romantic relationship, they, they understand you, you, you could be with anyone. That's how they feel. But you're choosing them. And that makes them feel proud, about, proud of themselves. Uh, in a sense, you know, it makes them feel special. But they're also acknowledging, you know, ah, but you could also leave. So they understand that you have options. In the workplace, you know, you have options. You could do anything. Your boss, your coworkers know that, you know, you could leave and find another job, but you could learn anything. You could do anything that you 
set your, your mind on. <clears throat> and they really see this as a benefit, as a positive. It's really a positive, positive feeling they're giving me on this card. And then we have the emperor. Now they're giving me two um, scenarios here. Now if this is a work situation, they're giving me strong, strong leadership vibes, which does go hand in hand with the emperor, meaning they see you as someone who should be or is in a strong leadership role. Someone who could take charge of a department, a situation, a project, um, other employees, um, or even just take charge of yourself and run with it. You have some strong skills, organizational skills, leadership skills. You're able to go after what you want and accomplish what you need to accomplish. In a uh, romantic situation, they, they see you as their counterpart. You know, we've got the empress and the emperor here. They see you as the empress and forget about gender. It's not about gender. They see you as their counterpart in the emperor role. They see you as someone who complements them well. In a family or friend relationship, again, similar to the work situation, they see you as somebody who could do anything, um, who has sort of the, the, how do I put that? The courage, thank you, the courage to do whatever you decide to do. And they're really impressed. This person is incredibly impressed by you. The only downside is that they see in you um, things that you don't see in yourself from their point of view. And they really want you to celebrate yourself, to own your own um, journey and your own amazingness. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. All right, group two, I hope that helps. I hope it gives you a little bit of insight into what your person thinks of you or how they feel about you. So thank you for being here. If the reading resonated, I hope you give it a thumbs up. That helps me know that our energies are connecting and um, that things are um, resonating. And also it tells YouTube to share the channel a little bit more. It gets these readings out to more people so that they get the messages that they need as well. And I'm grateful for that. It's free and super easy. So just click the thumbs up if that you found this helpful. Um, also, feel free to drop a message down below in the comment section. I love reading your comments. They mean the world to me. So thank you so much for being here, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, group three. All right, so we're going to take a look today at what this person, and you get to decide who that person is, what this person thinks about you, how they feel about you. Now, this can be any relationship. It can be a, a boss, a coworker, a friend, a family member, a romantic partner. You get to decide. So as I'm shuffling the cards, I'll just ask that you think about who you want this to be, you know, who you want to hear about in your life. Just connect with the cards and then we'll, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, your first card is the Princess of Cups. And you have the Ace of Wands. Next, we have Temperance. And we have the Fool. And let's get another row. And we have the Five of Pentacles.
We have the Prince of Swords. Three of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles. All right. Okay, give me just a second. I just want to take these cards in. I'm going to listen for some initial messages for you from Spirit. And then we'll talk about what's going on here. Like, so give me just a second, y'all. Okay, what they're telling me first is first they're saying that they think you're very nice. Um, they think you have a nice um, temperament, a nice way about you. Uh, you're very kind, you're very thoughtful, but they worry about you a little bit. And let me try to understand why. They worry a little bit that you're too nice, that you sometimes see life with um, rose-tinted glasses that you're you maybe too optimistic. Well, that doesn't mean that you are. So keep that in mind. It's just how they see you, right? It's, sometimes it's good to just see someone else's perspective. Whether or not you agree with it, that's up to you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they, they're giving me, they, they feel like you're a little bit, um, they're giving me the word squishy. And I don't mean that in a physical sense whatsoever, but it's like they, like you're not as hard, you know, you're not as tough as, or as direct or as disciplined as they would like. That's what they're giving me. Um, it's like they're comparing you to themselves and this person is coming across or they see themselves as someone who's very direct, very disciplined, very structured. And they see you as a really, um, like a really wonderful, lovely teddy bear. That you're very nice, you're very kind, but that you could easily get hurt. You know, so they worry about you. They worry about you in some way. All right, so let's look at the cards. Hopefully that resonates. Really, it can apply to any relationship, um, even a work relationship. The, you know, bosses, coworkers can worry about, about you. All right, so. Your first card is the Princess of Cups. Again, they see you as somebody who's very kind. You're very thoughtful. You talk well about others and others talk well about you. You're well liked. It's like you're very, you're always very optimistic. You're always very um, carefree. You just have this lovely, lovely air about you from their point of view their point of view and they really like that about you so don't um don't think that in, in, in any way that they're thinking that is a negative because they certainly do not then we have the five of pentacles and now keep in mind this deck i don't read it in reverse so this card they're giving they're kind of giving me the reversed here of this card hold on what did you want to say they're saying that you're never alone it's like you've never met, um, it's like strangers are just friends you haven't met yet. That's what they're telling me. Um, you know how to make friends easily. You know, you know how to like, talk to people, make people feel comfortable. You have a very calm way about you. You also have a very magnetic way about you. Um, they see in you, you're somebody that people like. You're definitely somebody that people like because you have this, um, this generosity of spirit about you. And they're, they're actually, not, I'm going to say the word jealous, but not in a bad way. You know, it's not quite the right word. They, they wish in some ways they were more like you in that way, uh, that they were more outgoing and more friendly and, you know, kinder to people that, you know, were different than them because you are kind to people, even if they're nothing like you. You, know, you you find the common ground, you see the beauty and differences, that sort of thing. And they do see that in you. 
And again, like I said, they, they sometimes wish they could be a little bit more like that. All right, your next card is the Ace of Wands. And they're giving me, um, they feel like, you know, as a slight challenge or negative here, it, they feel like you don't have a lot of fire. Like, and I don't mean personal fire, but it's, it's this energy of, Like it's an energy of exploration. It's an energy of passion. It's an energy of going after things. It's like they're giving me that you get, you get ideas. You have ideas about things. You, you know, if this is work, it might be ideas you want to do, you know, in your work or your career. In a relationship situation, it may just be things you want to do, vacations you want to go on, things you want to do, place, you know, whatever it may be. Um, they're, they're giving me that you have a lot of ideas and inspirations, but but they don't feel like you act on them. That you uh, take the time to develop and uh, turn these ideas into reality. And here with the Prince of Swords, it's a similar it's a similar energy about going after what you want they feel like you okay what they're giving me is you spend time um you spend a little bit too much energy trying to please others rather than forget others who cares what people think go after what you want be who you are and do what you have to do and who cares if other people don't like it you know they see in you like they see in you a little bit of a lack of that and it's because they're a bit like that, right? They, they really don't care that much about what other people think about them. And they just look at you and go, you know, with all these wonderful qualities you have, if you could be that way and still not care what people think, you could do anything. You could go anywhere. You could be anyone. Yeah, they're, they're also giving me, you know, there's um, this lovely quality of you that you have with other people, but you often hold back the truth. That's how they see it. Not that you lie, but it's that you sugarcoat. You know what I mean? You, 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 you try to spare people's feelings where you, this person, not that they don't care about people's feelings, they do, but they feel like the truth is more important, um, that you can you know, be diplomatic and speak your truth and go on with your day. That's what, they're, that's what they're giving me. All right. So the next card is temperance. And, and what they would love to see change, you know, love to see differently is just a little more balance, a little more balance between loving other people, caring about other people. You know, of course, you have a great love of life, but not a lot of drive that's how they see it again don't don't shoot the messenger because you may have a ton of drive and you may know that right this is just how they see you so it may just be you know if you want them to know you have more drive just demonstrate it maybe in front of them but they really it's not that they want you to be exactly like them they just wish you were a little more balanced instead of so heavy on one end and then we have the three of swords and the other thing that they wish is that you weren't so quite so worried about hurting other people's feelings you know um, and this could be in a workplace it could be again family friend relationship it's it's a lot of energy thinking about how others feel which is beautiful but it's in their opinion if you could spend a little bit less time worrying about other people and more time pushing yourself you might see all these gifts that you have really blossom and 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 come to like a beautiful beautiful uh fruition for yourself and again they're not knocking you in any way it's it's just one person's perspective you know all right so next we have kind of how they feel about you overall and we have the fool card so they they see you as somebody who's carefree who loves life who doesn't worry too much about where they're going or where things are going to land 
it's, they do recognize in you that you have this trust about you, that life is going to work out. They also, of course, see that, you know, maybe you're not always looking where you're leaping, but somehow it does seem to work for you. And they do see that as well, because we've got here the Six of Pentacles, and the card says success. They do see you as someone who manages no matter what. Like they may think, oh, if you could just harness your, your determination, your drive, think how far you could go. But then they also recognize that regardless, you're doing very well. Like you, you are thriving in your own life. You're thriving in your friendships. You're, you're thriving in work. You still manage to move the needle in your life despite the fact that you're not more like them. <laughs> That's which is exactly what I got, that you're not more like them. You still manage to do it. It's interesting. It's an interesting energy. You know, it's, it's, it's typical of someone who, uh, you know, when people see someone who's different than them, there's, there's often a part of them that recognizes the whole that's there and wishes that that person could be more like them. And that's just personal comparisons. That's just someone comparing themselves to you. And they obviously care very much about you or they, um, they respect you. You know, how, choose the word that makes the most sense for, sense for the type of relationship you're in. But they, they have um, a great respect and, and possibly even a love for you. But they just recognize that you are not like them. And, and part of them thinks, oh, if you could just be a little bit more like me, just think how far you could go. <laughs> yeah, it's just that kind of person, that kind of person. And I personally think you're fantastic the way you are because um, I can feel your energy. So, uh, you know, if it's working, you know, if it's not broke, don't, don't fix it. But maybe there's something there that, that you think, well, okay, maybe I could, you know, run with my ideas more or whatever it may be. Anyway, group uh, three, thank you so much. I hope that helped. I hope it resonates. If it did, please give the video a thumbs up. It's super easy. It's free. It helps me a lot. It helps me know that our energies are connecting. It helps me know that the reading resonated. And it also helps the channel so that these readings get out to more people and they can get the messages and the readings that they're meant to get as well. So thank you for that. Thank you for your comments. I do appreciate your comments every time. I read all of them and I'm very grateful and thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.